You're a woman of color. Who do you support? Well, I'm a black woman. So that's number one. I don't really subscribe to the woman of color. Okay. And I'll tell you the reason why is because it usually it, does, it, it diminishes uh, black voices. And I've told you time and time again, I do not support President Trump. I am, I lean left. My policies are more in line with the Democrat Party than it is the conservative party. But you know what the real problem is? No conservative has ever ran, ever ran in my district. No conservative has ever ran for office or ever knocked on my door. I don't get caught up in this uh, social media campaigning. If conservatives want to win more black voters, they need to actually run in those districts. So okay. until that happens and until... What, what, do, you, what um, do you think? What, what do you think of the platinum plan? I mean, he may not have presented it directly to black folks, but he has presented it. It's a half trillion dollars worth of capital. It's not a handout. It's not money walking around money. It's capital to create businesses. I mean, would you support that? Well, I support any capital that supports businesses, but when you look at the platinum plan, a lot of it talks about minorities, not black folks. So there is a certain conversation that's happened that says we want actual policies that are directed specifically uh, at African Americans. There are there are some pieces of that policy that does direct directly to African American communities, just like Mike Bloomberg had a similar plan on the Democratic side. Okay, so of well, course I support that. that the but it's, more than eight percent of the black votes. I mean, you're speculating. I don't know. Food. Yeah, I, well, see, I don't do speculation. That's the problem. We did a lot of speculation in 2016, and obviously it was wrong. I think that 8 out of 10 black men do vote uh, Democrat. I think 90% of black people do vote Democrat. That's not speculation. That's facts. So it's really going to be up to the people in the streets. It's not up to me to speculate because, unfortunately, it's not this big meeting that black people have to decide, you know, how we're going to move forward. Real talk, real shit. The great Teslin Figaro. She's mostly seen on the uh, conservative stations. And you don't see too many black women on there that speak like her. But they put her on there because she speaks like her. She's not trying to change it up trying to acquiesce with what Fox brings. She knows why they came and got her for her. So she don't need to change her. It's the Black Watch. You're still watching. You picking something up. These doses they're not news. Y'all see the news. Y'all, you know, what I'm bringing to you is real life shit. Now, it might cater through something you saw on the news. But sometimes it's just some real life shit. And this is something I have a problem with. I have a real problem with. We as people right now have a real defeatist attitude. Not all of us. But I know they got a lot of people pinned down mentally, spiritually. And unfortunately, it's financial driven. But it's not even those people. Because those people have been struggling. And we hope they come up out of their struggles sooner than later. But those people have been struggling. The people that have the defeatist attitude are the ones who can actually speak for themselves. They're not free. Because of because a free man ain't speaking on the defeatist shit. These are just, they almost free, but they're not free. And they always like to say the same thing. Oh man, ain't no, ain't no white man going to get no black person nothing. It's always that type of thing. White people don't owe us nothing. It's always that kind of thing. Man, they gave us affirmative action. 
And I used to hear that more from white people, but now I hear it from black people. Some black people believe that affirmative action was reparations. Or they out here. But the ones who just think on such a weird ass level what makes you think white men gonna give us anything? When they think on those levels, you really gotta wonder what they've gone through personally and what their family may have went through on a generational level. Because some families were beat into submission. They were just, they were the whipping post themselves. I mean, all enslaved people were abused to some degree. But There were families that were just the downtrodden, the bottom feeders. I mean, they fed from the bottom. And a lot of people don't like to think about that part of it. Because there's people that, yeah, we're bottom cast now, but there's been there's people that have been bottom cast from the beginning. They're just that stone that's kicked down the road. There's families like that, and they've gone generations like that. I understand that defeatist mode because they've never, ever won. Should have fucking turned down the next street. Forgot this was jacked up. But we got to get out of the mode of thinking that what we've done here in this country for the over the last 400 years that we are not owed redress we have to get out of that thinking we are a marginalized people we have been compromised in the worst ways of any people on the planet. And to this date, there has never, ever been any type of compensatory, damaged payments made to our people where anybody else that was marginalized on this soil or came to this land from another territory they've all gotten compensation every single individual can say other than descendants of slavery descendants of enslaved people everybody can say that they've received some type of subsidy to be here when you break shit down like that even an illegal an illegal immigrant can receive subsidy in a territory that he snuck to, lived illegally, but because there was a pandemic, a national pandemic, an international pandemic, he can receive subsidy. But a descendant of an individual who was enslaved in this country, who was kept, who was beaten, who was brutalized, who was raped, who was killed, and it was legal. The 
that individual receives nothing. Yeah. It's fucked up out here. It's real fucked up out here. I don't get it. I don't get it. How we can have a defeatist attitude. We were set up and brought here to be brutalized and murdered, to be extinguished, and we survived. We survived. And there should be no redress there. I don't know how y'all living. I don't know how y'all living. Sorry. Y'all do what y'all do. I'm gonna do what I do. I'm trying to wake a few people up with these doses. Some people haven't voted yet. A lot of people got the early voting in, absentee vote, da da dee da da da, whatever you call them. That's a good thing. Some of y'all going to the polls tomorrow. Hopefully, nobody encounters any strife. I'm not sure exactly why a motherfucker needs to take an assault rifle to the polls, but it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to be looking at it on the tube. And I've seen people ask on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, is it okay to carry your firearm to the polls tomorrow? I mean, they really didn't want to, but they hear about all these other people. They just, they don't want to get caught slipping. Imagine, I mean, you, you got to worry about getting caught slipping going to vote. I mean, I know that had to be a thing back in the day. But it's 2020. It's 2020. You got to be concerned about going to vote. This is amazing to me. I'm past amazed. But it's the product that president's pushing. people eating it up hopefully Washington County doesn't encounter anything we can get through the dumbass day as we need to and then we'll figure out our next near future and go from there y'all be good this is a little short one. I'm thinking about jumping on doing a pre-election day live. Try to do through YouTube. Fuck it. I've been trying. I don't know why they won't let me do it, but it is what it is. I know I can't do it on the mobile because I ain't got enough subs, but I'm supposed to be able to do it on the landline. It, ain't been, it allowed me to do it before. Now I really want to get on there. I really want to get on YouTube live versus having to do it through Facebook and then throw it over to YouTube. Just a step I don't want to take. But it is what it is. So we'll do what we got to do. We'll hit back. It's Black Watch. Sorry about the darkness. I, the guy was losing light. Really wasn't paying attention. I'd be driving. I don't really be paying attention to what the screen looked like. We got to tighten up, though. We got to tighten up, black folks. Just because you're not winning right now don't mean you're a loser. Let's get rid of the defeatist attitude. All that, that hunchback attitude, I don't, I don't do that. I want to see you one day like we come from kings and queens. And then you got that that melancholy look like, you know, somebody just kicked your dog. 
Let's get it together. One love.